Hello everyone. Today we're going to be making puffer fish. Have you ever seen a puffer fish? They are very cute. They look like this. This is a puffer fish. They have very large eyes and very small mouths. You can see that they have some kind of texture on their skin. They're kind of spiky. Do you see that? But there's a reason for that. Aren't they adorable? But when they get scared, something else happens. And they look like this. Whoa! They use their stomach to expand and become a big round ball. That's right, they turn into big balls with pokies parts coming out of them. And that's what we're going to be making today. But we have to make a few things before we get started. So let's practice cutting out our shapes. Get a brown piece of paper and draw a triangle on it. Now draw another one. We need two triangles. One, two. Now it's time for a heart. Try your best to draw your heart. It does not have to be perfect. Now we need one, two ovals. Now it's time to practice our cutting. Do your best to try this by yourself. If you need help, please ask. I didn't cut the bottom of my triangle because it was already a triangle shape. Sometimes it is easier to cut a triangle if you already have a straight line on the bottom of your paper. Now we have our triangles and it's time for our heart. Be very careful. I like to turn the paper instead of turning my scissors if I am cutting out something that has curves. And now we need to cut out our ovals. I use the same kind of technique with my circles or ovals. I turn the paper instead of turning my scissors. Be very, very careful with this one. Please ask for help. All right, so now we have two triangles, two ovals, and a heart. Easy, right? Okay, now with your shapes all cut out and ready to make your puffer fish, these are the materials you're going to need. You're going to get a blue piece of paper, brown paint, white paint, some markers, some toothpicks, glue, and a fork. Grab your brown marker and we're going to make a spiky circle. And then we're going to put a line through it right in the middle. Now grab your glue and you're actually going to add this to your paint. We're going to pour just a little bit of glue into our paint and mix it all together so that our paint becomes sticky. Now get your fork. Perfect. And we're going to mix all of that glue into our brown paint. and then paint the top part of our spiky circle with our fork, that's right. The reason we're using a fork is because we want to see that texture of spikes. Do you see the spikes that the fork is making? It kind of looks like chocolate a little bit. Using this fork is giving me really good spikes for my puffer fish.
Ooh, very spiky. Now it's time to do the same thing with the white paint. Mix it all up, and time to paint. We're still trying to make our spikes with our paint. If your paint is running together, then you can wait a little bit when it's dry and add some more spikes if you like. It's up to you. Oh, I see my puffer fish already. If you want to, add extra parts of spikes after you're done painting. Now it's time for toothpicks. We're really just going to put them all over. You can even break them in half. Now it's time for our shapes. Our triangles are going to be our fins. One fin, two fin. And we don't need to add glue because our paint is glue. Now our heart is going to be our mouth. And our two ovals are going to be the eyes. Ooh, look at my puffer fish. But he still needs something. So I added some sand and bubbles and seaweed. My puffer fish looks a little angry that he got scared and got so big. Hmm. Is your puffer fish happy or sad? Or angry like mine? <laughs> all right, my friends, I can't wait to see all of what you created. Show me soon. I'll see you next time.